Hi loves, it's Ellen. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Class is definitely back in session. Are your pens and pencils ready? Today we're going to be talking about a great blush and contour bronzer technique to either make your face a little fuller or to make your face look a little more slim. So before we get started, hit the subscribe button, share the video if somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. All right, so here we go. This is one of my favorite techniques that I used as a makeup artist to achieve a certain face shape that the client might want or that I help them, you know, kind of investigate and see what they would like to um, improve upon. So what you want to do is you want to have some cream products for these. Yes, you can do this with um, powder products, but my favorite way to do this is with cream products. Today I'm going to be using Westman Atelier's products just because they blend so beautifully, but pick your favorite. I knew these are a little expensive, but I love these and I've had these for a long time. Okay, so what we're going to, let me pull my hair up. Hair is up and out of the way so you guys can see each side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this side of the face and what we're going to do is we're going to make this side of the face appear more full and this side of the face appear a little slimmer. To make this look a little more full, we want to focus on the blush placement being more on the apples of the cheeks. And I'm going to kind of go a little heavier so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. I have my mirror right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your cream product and you're going to pop more of the color on the apple of your cheek. And you do not want to smile when you're placing this because when we go apple and then we go like this, it falls. So you want to do it right where your apple of your cheek is with your face relaxed. Now for the contour or the bronzer, this is not really a contour per se, but you can think of it that way, is we're going to sweep it from here, right at the top of, the, so here's your ear. So we're going to sweep it from here and we're going to take it upwards like this, okay? So it's going to go whoop, like this. And then if you want to, you want to lift the forehead. This is just if you have enough space on your forehead. Not everybody has enough space to do this. Of course, my forehead's quite large, so I do have space to do that. Now, when we are talking about making our face look more slim, we're gonna place the blush up higher on the face, so up here, like this. And then we're going to apply the bronzer or contour in a more downward direction. So we're going to face, going to pull our face this way and we're going to go down. Okay. And by doing this, you can see it's like boop, boop. And this is actually going to cut. If you have any kind of jowls here, like I'm starting to get over time with age, this is going to give an optical illusion that that is a little less apparent. Now for the, the forehead, you're going to actually contour or bronze up right above the eyebrow. Now, when we're blending these, it's actually a really good idea to blend with a brush. A sponge is going to kind of make this a little muddier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a BK Beauty brush. This is a 108. Okay, so what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start by blending the blush first. Now, what you want to do is you want to use small micro movements. And again, just to be honest with you, I wouldn't have gone this heavy with the product. Uh, because it's just a little, it's going to be a little bit dark, but we can blend that out. And what you want to do is you want to do these small micro movements. I am just working with the tip of the brush. I am not swiping and pulling. And I am wiping my brush off on a towel that I have below me in between each stripe or each swipe, I guess I should say. And you want to focus right here under that eye, just like this. That color is so beautiful. Now, for the contour or bronzer section, you are going to sweep in upward motions. You do not want to pull this down right here, okay? You want to leave this light, and I'll tell you why in one second. And you want to make sure that you don't go too far into the temple because the temple is already light. You have to remember light and dark theory. Light pulls things um, forward, and dark recedes them. So we are going a little bit darker here, and we don't want to pull this inwards. We want to keep it light and bright so it looks more uh, wider. That is also why we do not want to bring any darkness down here because we want this to still appear fuller. Remember, this is for people that have a little more of a sunken in face shape and they want to appear fuller. That's why this bronzer was kind of brought up in this swooping motion. 
And then of course for the forehead is super easy. You're going to just blend that right into the, into the hairline. And what this does is it appears this is lighter and then the face is a lot more elongated. Now, I'm going to wipe that brush off. Now for this one, this one's a little bit easier to blend. You want to bring this color, you can, you can bring it down ever so slightly on the apple of the cheek, but ever so slightly. You want to focus more of that pigmentation up on the high point of the face, which is up here. And I am going into my temple. Great into the hairline. Now this one, you have to blend downward and into that hairline. This for, if you guys are just starting out on this, this one might be a little bit harder to get the hang of how to blend because it's more of a shadow. We are not trying to look for this kind of very distinct line in the face. And then I'm going to blend this back and forth above that brow and then whatever I've left on my brush I am just gently sweeping back. We still want to keep this light though. We still want to keep this a little bit lighter because we want to focus on bringing this brow kind of upwards and see how it slims the face. Now if you want to, if you have a really pretty round face, I actually have a, a round face, you can actually bring just this down here ever so slightly and blend a little bit darker into this side of the face. Now, the reason why I say this is gonna be a little bit harder for beginners to blend this out because you don't wanna change the foundation color from your face to your neck. You don't wanna be like, oh, that is brown. You want to be able to blend this away so that it looks more of like a shadow instead of an actual coloring. I hope that that makes sense. And then for both looks, I'm just gonna take a finishing powder. I just have my hourglass right here. And I'm going to just add a little finishing powder in the center of the face. And if you want to, you can blend this a little bit over this contour section. Same with this part. You can lighten this up just ever so slightly. And of course you can reinforce this. I would not reinforce the bronzer or contour um, because you want it to be, like I said, more of a shadow and less of a actual color. But if you want to, you can go ahead and feel free to put a, just a touch of powder blush on. And what that's gonna do is that's just gonna hold that um, color a little bit more in place and it's gonna intensify the placement of that blush. And you can see I'm just following along where I did before, just like that. I think you can really see how this apple of this cheek and this contour right here really gives this side of that face some fullness. And since we did not focus a ton right here, it gives that slimming effect on the face that we are looking for. See how this looks a little bit more lifted and kind of fuller up here. And this side is a little more round up on top of the eye. That is what we're trying to do. Now remember, makeup is all about practice. It's all about using optical illusions. It is basically when we're shading with light and dark and color. So again, take your time, practice with this, but it is one of the, you know, the benefits of using makeup while, you know, we're waiting for skincare to work or our professional treatments or whatever it is. But I love this tip. I use them, I use them as a makeup artist every single day and they're really fairly easy to get the hang of after you have some time to practice. Comment below. I want to hear what you think. Have you tried these techniques before? Are you going to try them? Um, which side of the face are you going to be trying? Do you want to look a little more uh, sculpted? Do you want to look a little more full? over here. But thanks again for always being here. I love you all so, so much and I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks so much. Lots of love from me to you. Bye.